So I've been watching this show called Snog Marry Avoid. It's a reality TV show people presumably write in to volunteer their friends and family members who they think match the criteria. The main component of the show is a computer named Pod who dishes out make hunters to people who she feels abuse fakery. Fakery can be anything from fake boobs, fake tan, fake hair, etc. Originally I thought it was a great idea, it had a great message. The make hunters show people that they don't need to be half naked, half caked in makeup to feel good about themselves. But recently I've realised that the show has too much of a focus on how your appearance makes other people perceive you. Before and after the make under, they show a picture of the participant to seemingly random strangers out on the street and ask them to say whether they would snog, marry or avoid them. That's got to be pretty devastating being shown clips of the general public judging you and hearing how they would avoid you. And more often than not, 100% of the general public will avoid them pre make under. They're then made to remove all of their makeup whilst wearing a white bathrobe and a weird shower cap type thing. Next, Pod runs the make under, and they come out with toned down hair, toned down makeup, and a trendy dress from the high street. Then they do the comparative assessment, where the general public are shown a picture of them with the make under, and amazingly, they all want to snog and marry them. Finally, the poor guy or girl is paraded around in front of their friends and family on the pod walk, where everyone says how overjoyed they are with their new look. And two-thirds of the time, they do actually look better, but they very rarely keep the look. And the reason why is because they're much happier dressing the way that they want to. And there's nothing wrong with that. And the thing the show fails to address is that the person living in here is far too complex, too unique, to manifest in our natural appearance. Just the same, dressing up to express yourself, having bold makeup and fashion choices, bearing flesh or covering up, nothing you can do will control what people are thinking of you. Any attempt at individuality, creativity, or even conformity will inevitably be misinterpreted by someone as being a slut, being a freak, being boring, or the same as everyone else. All anyone wants is to be seen as the person they are or the person they aspire to be. No one can blame you for wanting to give a good first impression, for trying to look natural and pretty so people will feel comfortable approaching you. No one can blame you for making an effort to look different so people will be interested in finding out more about you. No one can blame you for wearing your weirdness on your sleeve so you don't have to hide your true self. Being yourself isn't as simple as they make it sound. Sometimes it means sticking to the look you were born with, sometimes it means expressing yourself through your look. Snog Marry Avoid oversimplifies this with its free option poll, offering you up to strangers where if you're not good enough for them, you aren't worth anything. When Ellie Taylor runs around dressed up as a parody or a stereotype of a particular fashion statement, it implies that people who have tried to represent themselves through their appearance, who have dressed in the style of the type of people they identify with, are somehow lacking their individuality, which can be found through whichever combination of the limited shape, size and colour humans can naturally have that they were born with. I am sure that Stog Marry Avoid has the best of intentions. And it isn't completely biased in favour of the natural look, as Ellie does interview them again at the end, giving them a chance to say whether they kept the natural look or whether they went back to the star that makes them happy. It is important though that we all realise that how we dress ourselves, how we present ourselves to the world, is very personal. It can be a window into how we perceive ourselves, and for many, it is crucial to how we communicate who we are to other people.